Diet plays a crucial role in managing diabetes, and understanding the impact of various food types on blood sugar levels is essential for those living with the condition. One such food is rice, a staple in many diets across the globe. In this video, we will explore the relationship between rice consumption and diabetes, and examine various studies that have shed light on this topic. White rice and diabetes. White rice, a refined grain, has been linked to an increased risk of type 2 diabetes in several studies. One such study, published in the British Medical Journal, BMJ, in 2012, conducted a meta-analysis of four major cohort studies, including over 350,000 participants. The study found that higher consumption of white rice was associated with a significantly increased risk of type 2 diabetes, particularly in Asian populations. The main reason for this increased risk is the high glycemic index GI, of white rice. High GI foods cause rapid spikes in blood sugar levels, putting a strain on the body's insulin production and function. White rice is also low in fiber, which is essential for regulating blood sugar levels and promoting a healthy digestive system. Brown rice and diabetes. Unlike white rice, brown rice is a whole grain that retains its outer bran layer, which contains most of its fiber and nutrients. Several studies have suggested that consuming whole grains, including brown rice, may reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes. A study published in JAMA Internal Medicine in 2010 found that replacing 50 grams of white rice per day with the same amount of brown rice was associated with a 16% lower risk of type 2 diabetes. Another study, published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition in 2011, reported similar findings. This study found that replacing refined grains, such as white rice, with whole grains, like brown rice, could reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes by up to 36%. The protective effect of brown rice can be attributed to its higher fiber content, which helps regulate blood sugar levels and improve insulin sensitivity. Additionally, brown rice contains various phytochemicals and antioxidants that may have beneficial effects on metabolic health. Surprising Side Effects of Eating White Rice there's a reason why rice is among the most commonly eaten grains all over the world. It's super versatile and can be adapted to complement a wide range of flavor profiles and dishes. Plus, there are many varieties to choose from, more than 120,000, if you want to get technical. Food and Wine reports that rice comprises a staggering one-fifth of the total calories consumed globally. But, is white rice healthy or not? White rice, also known as enriched rice, is one of the most popular types. White rice is refined rice, meaning it has been milled to remove the outer husk, bran layers, and germ. Despite its prevalence, white rice tends to get a bad rap because of how it's processed, especially as compared to its more nutritious whole grain cousin, brown rice. You may have heard white rice described as a bad carb or a source of empty calories. However, is it worth skipping over it completely? You'll still get some healthy fiber and other nutrients. One of the reasons that white rice gets such a bad rap is that it's often compared to its less processed sibling, brown rice. And while white rice is half the fiber as brown rice, it can still provide fiber and other nutrients as part of a healthy meal. In 100 grams of white rice, you're getting almost 1 gram of fiber. This may not seem like much, especially because brown rice can have almost double, but it still provides you with a small portion. White rice also often contains vitamins and minerals like zinc, selenium, niacin, folate, phosphorus, and vitamin B6. You may have more energy. Looks like your chipotle order won't keep you overstuffed and feeling sluggish. If you add in white rice, that is. White rice is a source of carbohydrates, which is the main source of fuel for your body, plus, many varieties of white rice, at least in the U.S., are fortified with B vitamins that may help support energy levels as well. According to research published in the journal, nutrients, all B vitamins, with the exception of folate, are involved in at least one step, if not more, of the energy production system within the cell. With that being said, it is essential to get a dose of each B vitamin for gaining energy. And, too little of it will limit your body's energy production, which can potentially have a negative impact on your metabolic and general health. You may have stronger bones. Turns out that consuming white rice may offer a major flex when it comes to bone health. We all know that calcium and vitamin D are important nutrients for bone health, but one unsung bone health hero nutrient, manganese, is found in white rice. You may increase your risk of type 2 diabetes. One large cohort study of over 39,000 men and over 157,000 women, published in the Archives of Internal Medicine, found that eating more than five servings of white rice a week led to an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. This same cohort study also found that eating more brown rice was associated with a potentially reduced risk of type 2 diabetes. 
you may ingest arsenic. Arsenic is a trace element that, when consumed frequently and in large quantities, can lead to some unpleasant health outcomes. Arsenic has been found in rice, so when you consume this grain, you can be ingesting this element too. Although white rice is lower in arsenic than brown rice, it's still important to avoid consuming too much and to vary your grains. Research from Consumer Reports notes that options that are lower in arsenic and worth trying are amaranth, quinoa, bulgur, and farro. The same report also found that arsenic levels can vary based on where in the region your rice was grown. For example, sushi rice from the U.S. and white basmati rice from California, India, and Pakistan may contain less arsenic than other types of rice. You may be more prone to developing metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome is a cluster of conditions that occur together, increasing your risk of heart disease, stroke, and type 2 diabetes. The conditions include excess body fat around the waist, increased blood pressure, and abnormal cholesterol or triglyceride levels, according to the Mayo Clinic. Another study published in the Heart Asia Journal suggested that those who consumed the most white rice were associated with a 30% higher risk of metabolic syndrome. Although not severe, it's still significant enough. So if you're at risk of any of these conditions, consider switching out the white rice for something else. What types of rice are okay to eat? The type of rice is important when selecting what to eat. It's better to eat rice that packs a nutritional punch. Brown rice, wild rice, and long grain white rice include more fiber, nutrients, and vitamins than short grain white rice. You should also check the GI score of your choice. Short grain white rice has a high GI, which means it's 70 or higher, so you should avoid it if possible. It contains little nutritional value when compared to other forms of rice and starches. Basmati, brown, and wild rice have GI scores in the moderate range. They have a GI of 56 to 69. These are generally okay to eat in moderation. Cooking times can alter your GI score, so be careful not to overcook your rice. You can balance your pick with low GI foods, including protein and non-starchy vegetables. You should also make sure you only eat a small portion of rice. Just half cup of rice is 15 grams of carbohydrates. The evidence suggests that there is a link between rice consumption and diabetes risk, but the type of rice plays a significant role. White rice, with its high glycemic index and low fiber content, has been associated with an increased risk of type 2 diabetes, particularly in Asian populations. On the other hand, brown rice, a whole grain rich in fiber and nutrients, has been shown to reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes when consumed in place of white rice. For individuals living with or at risk of diabetes, it is essential to consider the type of rice they consume as part of a balanced and healthy diet. Replacing white rice with brown rice or other whole grains can help maintain better blood sugar control and reduce the risk of diabetes-related complications. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.